Whether you're ready to create more raving fans, you're ready to create major Black Friday sales, or maybe you just want to get better at selling through your content, check out the offers in the show notes. So today I was having a conversation with someone about how I do content. And it is very strategic, but it's also very easy. I'm not giving you my whole, I'm not taking you through and showing, sharing my screen and telling you all that stuff, but I'm going to tell you where it really comes from. I can tell you this. As somebody who has been online since 2000, I mean, really since 2012, my first business, um, which is where I learned all my magic. And then for this business, probably 2015. And I really didn't start getting visible until 2018, 2019. But here is what I've learned. So in 2019, and I was looking back at my memories, by the way, um, I opened up a free video challenge with zero ads and probably less than a week, 150 people signed up. There weren't that many people in this group right here. I didn't have as many followers as I have now, but 150 people signed up. I don't get 150 people signing up just like that these days when I offer something free. So number one, pre-2020 and today, there is so much more noise in our world. There is so much more noise on social media. And we get to remember that, right? Like it's like it's a lot more noisier. There are a lot more people doing video than there were back in 2019, especially with reels and TikToks and things like that. So it's like, how are we going to get our message across? So something I started about a probably, I don't know, probably like 18 months ago is I started, I should call this like the driving at home strategy or something. Um, but I started like repeating myself over and over. Now, yes, I do repurpose reels and TikToks to all the platforms. Um, I change the description. The description has changed. The video doesn't change. But when I post something on my personal page, when I post something, that same thing on Instagram, it will not look anything the same. It will go from text on my personal page to a um, carousel on Instagram. And then I may go live about it in this group. Like I drive my message home every single day. So if I am talking about something today is not true because I've talked about a couple different things today, but normally my podcast, my YouTube videos, my lives, my carousels, my stories, I am saying, I'm talking about the same exact subject. I may be saying it in a different way. I may be presenting it in a different way. I may say something different. Even if I went, did five lives that day on different platforms at different times, I may say something totally different. And what I learned, this is actually from a masterclass I did in 2021. I kept doing the same masterclass over and over. And um, this person joined my inner circle and I, I messaged her and I said, hey, I know you're coming, but like, it's the same thing. Like I'm doing the same thing. I'm just naming it different. And she goes, I know, but you say something different every single time. And I have a different takeaway every single time I listen to it. And then I got to thinking when I learn, and I don't know if anybody else is like that, feel free to drop in the, in the comments. I need to listen to things more than one time. Uh, so typically I will be sitting at my desk, taking notes, listening, and then I will re-listen in the car, right? Because I, I want it to like sink in, like I want it to sink in. And then after I listen to it in the car, then I'll listen to it again to implement. So sometimes I'm listening to things three times because I want it like, I want to be brainwashed with whatever that knowledge is from my mentor. I want it brainwashed in my head and then I want the knowledge, then I want to be able to execute it. So I'm going to go execute it because I have that knowledge in my head. So what I have found was, is that people understand what I do because I repeat myself so much. One thing I teach inside of Ignite Your Assets is be known for one thing. Because when you're known for one thing, there's no confusion, right? It does not mean that because I'm known for visibility, I can't talk about other things because I absolutely can. But the, the everything starts with visibility and it like filters down. 
If I talk about launching, we're going to talk about visibility in that. When I talk about content, we're going to talk about visibility in that. When I talk about offers, we're going to talk about visibility in that. When I talk about, you know, with a client and, and we're talking about their, their goals and their strategy and all this stuff, it is seeing the clear picture. That is visibility, right? It's seeing, it's removing the fog, removing the obstacles out of their way. So everything does come from visibility. And I am known for visibility, but I am allowed to branch out because the path is very clear. I know what my audience needs. I know what my person needs. And so when you talk about something, do you literally get tired? Like you're tired of talking about it. I'm not going to lie. Like sometimes I get tired of talking about the same thing, but I get to drive the message home. Raise your virtual hand if you have a kid that needs to be told a million times how to do something, right? Or to do something. Raise your hand if you have a dog and you've ever went through dog training and you have to repeat its repetition over and over and over. Or if you have a spouse that you need to repeat things over and over and over. The point is, is that we have so much noise. Somebody said the amount of information that's downloaded to us every single day is the equivalent, I think, of eight movies. Eight movies every single day. That's what we see. That's what we're getting distracted by. So why do you think that saying something one time is enough for your audience? And and furthermore, why do you think that saying, like selling and saying, oh, I'm selling this thing one time should get you all the buyers? People do not always hear us. So we get to repeat things in the medium that they want to digest it in. We get to repeat things in different ways. You know, I I love using this example, but the podcast that changed my life on June 18th, 2021, none of that was new. I had heard all of that before, but I was in the right mindset. I was walking, so I wasn't distracted. I was listening to the podcast on my phone. I had nothing else to do. And in that moment, that podcast, everything I'd heard before changed my life. Because I was ready to receive it and I was in a situation and my environment was ready to receive that. And the problem is, is that we're not typically willing to continuously talk about something because we've already talked about that before. Well, I've already talked about that before. I've already discussed that before. My audience knows that. No, they don't. No, they don't. When I have a podcast, I will go live about it. It typically separately because normally I'm just audio in my podcast. I will create a carousel about it. I will create a Facebook post about it. I will create tweets about it that go on for days. Your message is not being heard because you're not repeating yourself in enough different ways. One more example. I remember this uh, challenge um, in, I think it's uh, Copywriting Secrets. Uh, by Jim Edwards. And he has you do this challenge and it's like 11 questions. And I always have my programs do this, but you have to answer the questions like 10 times. And you're like, why am I answering this 10 times? It's the same question because the obvious answers are the first answers that you'll give when you got to dig deep. That's when it gets, that's when it gets real meaty people. That's when it gets real interesting, right? And so if I do, let's take, let me take you back to 2021 when I did 215 live videos in 31 days. I literally took one subject and I talked, I went live on different platforms every single time. By that last live, it was golden. I had improved so much because I kept changing what I was saying. I kept going deeper in what I was saying. And I was literally driving the message home with myself, which meant this is, okay, we're ready. We're perfecting this. We're ready to create this as a YouTube video next. And so the more that we say something, the more we think about things, the more that we dig deeper, the more we share with our audience, the more they're going to resonate. The more they're going to understand what we do. The more they're going to understand how we can serve and support them. So many of us are just too quiet. And you're like, well, I post every single day, Chrissy. But but do you? Like, are you saying the same thing? Like, I literally pick a whole week, and that is my content. That is, I have one topic for the entire week. If I'm launching something, that is all I talk about. That is all I talk about during that launch. I want everyone to know I'm launching the launch program, right? That is all I'm talking about, except on this video. Um, but it's very, very important for your audience to know what you do. And when we don't repeat ourselves, 
we're literally setting ourselves up for failure. Repeat yourself. Stop being afraid of saying the same thing over and over in a different way. Like true repurposing is saying it in a different way. True repurposing is not literally taking the same post and just slapping it on another platform. It's changing it up. It's using different hashtags. It's creating it in a different medium, a carousel, a video, a story, a poll. Like there's so many ways, creative genius ways to repurpose our content. We're just not doing it enough. There's a lot of noise, my friends, and you're going to get missed in the noise if you don't start repeating yourself over and over and over. Doesn't mean be boring. It means be innovative, be different, and keep showing up with the same message with saying it a different way. It's almost like recycling more than repurposing, right? Right? Like, what do you do with leftovers? Sometimes you make them into a whole new meal, right? But the main ingredient is still there. And it's the same thing with your content. The main ingredient, the main topic is still there. It's just how can we share it in a different way? So I hope this helps you. I hope this serves you. I hope this supports you. But as someone who's created content since 2012, this is one of the best strategies I can give you. Repurpose the topic. Repurpose the thing that you're selling. Repurpose it over and over and over again in different ways, not just copying and pasting, but really change it according to the platform because every platform is different. Your audience is different on every platform and you get to make sure that you are favoring what the platform wants when you repurpose that content. 